What was your relationship with, like, with Predator growing up? And it must be amazing oh, to yeah. now be a part of that. Oh, yeah. I mean, you, you, you get the call to, to be in, in a film like this. That you, I think you'd be crazy to say no to get to work with, the, you know, the filmmakers and, and the, the cast and crew of this film. It's a chance of a lifetime. These people are here to see the Predator, and the Predator's got a lot of fans. What can I tell you? What do you think it is about that franchise that, that has that kind of fan appeal, and, and it has such an ingrained, sort of nostalgic... Yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, the movies don't suck, and the guy, the Predator, is a really great creation. You know, it's an amazing uh, work of art. You know, he's got a mythology, a mythos. He looks cool as hell. And we like him, you know. He just came here to kill people for sport. I mean, that's fun. You know, it's fun for him. So I, when I saw that movie, I lived in a neighborhood that had an, a, a vacant lot, and me and my friends used to play, like, like play Predator. I was, you know, I was like 14. I was too old to be playing in the jungle. But we would, play, but, but I, it inspired me. There was something about how. It was in a jungle, but they felt lost. I loved the the, the suspense of it. The John, John McTiernan directed the suspense of that movie so beautifully because you're like, they're so far away, they're so remote. You're kind of going, uh oh, they're, they're, they're never going to make it back. It was a really the question always remained: How are they going to get out of this? Oh, how are now the three of them not going to get out of this? How are the two of them going to get out of this? How is Schwarzenegger going to get out of this? And it's the only movie in my life I've ever seen where Schwarzenegger looks scared. He looks out of his element and scared, and you go, "Oh, he's a human. He's a human." And that, that's the thing that was the real, the real like hook for me. We got a band of misfits that are, you know, the most unlikely people to to get this job done and save save the world. <laughs> it's like, um, I think that's that's the lure to all this. That how it's all relatable in this film. We're not, um, you know, this cosmetic. Uh, 80s unrelatable film that doesn't go into context today. It's, uh, it's. Uh, the, I think the people you see on the screen are, are, are the people you watch that, that are the audience watching the film. My face when I'm scared is is this. That's why I don't open my eyes when I'm scared. Once I see it, I just don't want to see it, and then I won't even know what happened. Like if he cuts me in half, rips a leg off, I can just. I don't know why my mouth's open. It feels like it makes me more vulnerable, but I but that's the face. Yeah. So I played Nettles, and Nettles was like the runt of the group. He's like everything that you are afraid to be when you're around your friends in high school. Like they're making fun of me, aren't they? Like they poke fun of you and all that. But you think you're part of the group, right? So that was like really who it was. It was like just the kind of guy that like is there to poke fun at. The thing, like so when you go to a third world country, right? And there's like a dog, like a stray dog, and he's just following you around everywhere you go, that's Nettles. That was the challenge, of course, to, to keep in keeping with the old movie, but update it. As a result, if you look at it, it's not just pretty pictures. I was trying to keep uh, the rawness, because that's Shane Black is all about rawness, the script and the characters, all about them. So I didn't want to distract from that. So it doesn't mean I'm not doing good photography, but I am trying to let the people be on the forefront. This is a film that I, I, I grew up on, and to come full circle with Shane Black, who was in the original and has had three decades to, you know, write and direct some of the greatest, uh, you know, films in cinema history. Uh, he took all of that and, and put it in this film. He's got a unique kind of uh, flavor, you know, that only he brings. Uh, Shane's got a sense of humor and a way of getting to the heart. So it feels real, you know, so it's humor and heart. And those things together and the way he blends them together, it's unique. Shane knows what he's doing, but he pretends he doesn't. Like, I'd ask him a question, he goes, you know, you do what you do, I don't know about any of that stuff. And I know he's lying. But I try to interpret what he's asking for. I didn't read the script, I just, I just, uh, he called me up and I said, I'm in. Uh, just tell me where to be. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys. Hey You Guys, huh? Hey you guys, Is that yeah. from the Goonies? It is indeed, yeah. Nice. Hey You Guys.